Hi there and welcome. Let me jump in by asking you some questions. Are you fascinated by consumer behavior? By all of the brands that are out there that people are absolutely crazy about? What is it that makes people wait out in the rain and snow, sometimes overnight or even for days, for products like the iPhone that they absolutely have to have right now? And then on the other hand, there are a lot of brands out there that they could just take or leave. They're really not interested in them at all. What is it about those people or what is it about those brands that makes that kind of connection? What about your own customers? Do you ever wish that you could understand them better? Do you ever wish that you could learn why it is that you can put together what you know is a great offering, a wonderful product or service, a dynamite marketing campaign, and yet people just don't respond the way you want them to? I'm sure that can be very frustrating, but there are ways to understand your customers. So if you answered yes to any of those questions, you've come to the right place. My name is Michael Solomon, and I'm really excited to introduce my program on consumer behavior. I hope you'll enjoy it, and I know that you're going to benefit from it. The basic idea behind the course is that I want to help you to see your customer in a new way. You're probably in the trenches every day trying to make really sound business decisions, but you don't often have the luxury to step back and really understand what it is about your customer that's either turning them on to your offering or perhaps turning them off. And, and that's what I'm here to help you with. A lot of what I'm going to talk about, you probably will think of as common sense. But it's common sense that has an important distinction because it's also backed by scientific research. So my goal during this program is to highlight a lot of different pieces of information and to give you a lot of strategic suggestions that on the one hand probably sound like common sense once I talk about them, but on the other are backed by years of research that really support why it is that it's worth making these changes or taking these suggestions. So let me start by telling you a little bit about myself. I'm a professor of marketing currently at the Haub School of Business at St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia. I've been a marketing professor for more years than I care to think about. Uh, prior to coming to St. Joseph's University, I was a professor at Auburn University, Rutgers University, and I began my career at New York University. In addition to being an academic, I've had the opportunity to consult with many different organizations on topics related to consumer behavior, advertising, retailing, social media, and marketing strategy. So here you see uh, some logos of some of the organizations that I've had the privilege of working with or that I'm currently working with today. In addition, I also spend a lot of time writing books. So I have been a textbook author for, I hate to say it, almost 30 years. You can see some of my textbooks here. And I'm proud to say that uh, one of those textbooks is a book on the topic of consumer behavior, and it's the most widely used in the world. So uh, I've had the opportunity over the years to revise this book many times. It's currently in the 12th edition, believe it or not. And I'm always learning. The field is always changing. And I'm happy to share some of those changes with you. But enough about me. We're here to help you learn and to help you benefit from what we know in the field about consumer behavior.